Dudes and dudettes, how are you guys? This is Chazzy and welcome back to Telechazzy, the segment on this channel where I review the many, many, many television series that I watch over the years across many different genres. And in recent years, I have really fallen in love with the docu-series format, you know? I just love watching, you know, different shows in documentary format, especially when they're related to sports. And that is what I'm going to be talking about today. This is going to be my second football-related Telechazzy after, you know, All or Nothing, Arizona Cardinals recently. That one was also a sports doc series and this one follows the same kind of you know um, the same kind of formula but it's actually a bit more it's a tad bit more entertaining because it involves one of my favorite rappers ever, which is Snoop Dogg. And in case you haven't already figured that out, even though it should be obvious because of the title of the thumbnail, I'm going to be reviewing Coach Snoop. A lot of you might not know that Snoop Dogg is actually a youth football coach. I myself only found out after watching this series, you know, and it's really cool, man, because it takes us through, you know, the ins and outs of him being a football coach, you know. He actually coaches in this uh, docuseries, series, he coaches this team called Snoop's Steelers which is obviously based on the Pittsburgh Steelers even the uniform is very similar you know uh, making their way through the Snoop Youth Football League which is a real thing it is called the the SY uh, FL it actually does exist you know and it's really interesting to see uh, you know Snoop embracing this whole different side of himself you know because the idea is to create this uh, this local program in Los Angeles for kids to focus on their goals and in many cases kind of you know uh, leave behind the life of poverty and hardships that they may face, you know, growing up in the ghetto like he himself did, you know. He did play football back in high school. He is a huge fan of it. He, he, he streams Madden today on YouTube and other places, you know, so it's really cool, man. Now, this docuseries was released in 2018, and there are only eight episodes, each one about half an hour long, so it is completely possible to binge the entire series in one day, which was what I did. <laughs> I literally watched every single episode in one city, man. It was really cool, you know? I just love the way that Snoop interacts with the kids, you know, the way that he tries to teach them life lessons, drawing from his own experiences growing up in a rough area. I think it's really cool, man, you know? The football shown is actually also very, you know, it's really entertaining to watch despite just being a bunch of kids you know if you're a fan of football then you will definitely like this one and before i continue and break down each episode one by one let's take a look at a clip here from coach snoop there he is right there nice and soft good pass good job hard work on three hard work on me one two three hard work music gave me the power to create a football league let's go but football is taking me to places that music could have never took me to <laughs> one thing about life you're gonna lose more than you win this docu-series was originally released on Netflix and it's still there today. It's still available to stream there if you want, you know, if you're if you somehow never come across it before if you like football but it's definitely worth it you know now this youth program was originally started back in 2005 you know because Snoop was really inspired by his past you know his very very rough upbringing to inspire kids to stay off of the streets you know and try to focus on bigger and better objectives you know starting through football you know it's an opportunity for the kids to go through his youth program you know maybe you know I don't know play uh, football in high school college maybe even get drafted to the NFL or just get a college degree you know it's a way to inspire them to do something different with their lives and the, the really cool thing about this is that Snoop has two different layers to him you know he's he does say in multiple interviews you know that he wants to try to be a better role model to the kids so the Snoop that we associate you know with the hip-hop genre you know talking about you know women and drugs and stuff you know and money and hustling and the way that he's always smoking marijuana you know he keeps all of that away from his youth program so there's no smoking no drinking nothing he He's just a straight like like a straight regular guy you know to help the kids be motivated to not do bad things you know now it's been a while since i've seen this series so i have a little cheat sheet here with each episode synopsis you know just to get through it the first episode is called to live and die in la which is actually the soundtrack to the intro of every episode which i believe was recorded by tupac you know i love that song so much man you know i actually started listening to tupac more because of that song because of this show ironically right so the first one is him explaining his coach persona, you know, and introducing us to some of the kids, you know, some of the positions that they play. Even though there is a, one particular mom that questions, you know, his methodology, you know, within the, the program, you know, his, um, 
rather it's not really him sorry she questions the methods of k-mac who i believe is one of the offensive coordinators he's really rough with the kids you know like he really gets under their skin so i guess one of the moms just gets a little worried about that but it's all good you know there are a few arguments here and there episode two takes us you know about the pain of losing family members we're introduced to other players you know like j-rock and aaron who are facing some some difficulties outside of the field you know we do see a lot of their personal lives just like the arizona cardinals all or nothing series so we see what the players go through the turmoil that they face emotionally how it affects them on the field even though they are kids these are kids growing up in like i think southern la man you know so it's really complicated you know the, the issues that they face you know with gang related violence and whatnot episode three you know we have a, a friend of snoop dog coming in big d you know who was actually a former gang member and he tries really hard to put that behind him and set a good example for the kids just like snoop does you know snoop explains a few things you know about how it was growing up where he did like he's talking about his sons like hey you know you guys were born rich you know i wasn't you know my mom had to really you know battle through a lot of things to put food on the table you know that kind of thing which actually does Really, a lot of people can relate to it if you grew up in that same area and you happen to be part of the African-American community, you know, which I'm not, but still, I thought it was really impressive. So yes, the Steelers, you know, they go to Arizona to, to play a game and it's like so hot, they're facing intense heat, you know, which is really hard for the boys, you know. Um, hard for the boys to, to to get through that you know at the same time we see big d raising his grandson sammy you know trying to be a good example to him as well so you know we're just trying they're all trying really hard you know to try to basically do what they what wasn't done to them back in the day the gang life you know we get to episode four you know talking about you know big d showing sammy the old neighborhood where he grew up in aaron trying to fit in with the team you know we also have j rock getting injured and trying to cope with that you know each episode you know deals with something different and at the end of the <coughs> well bye excuse me at the end of this one they go to miami for a game i can't really remember if they win or lose but still episode five is in a haze you know where aaron and his dad are still clashing with t-mac each one of the players has a different dynamic with other players on the team you know some of them get along some of them don't but that's just how it is it's very similar to title town high which i reviewed like a year ago you know which is pretty much the same formula about high school football you know it's the same thing you know we do see a lot of drama but on the field man the players are actually playing when we see them play even if they win or lose it's really nice to see the details you know snoop giving the sideline orders you know it's really cool so they compete for the southern california championship at one point towards the end we see that one of the players fathers goes to jail which does affect them psychologically it really messes them up for a bit you know they try uh, K, uh snoop k mac and big d try to really embrace the roles of you know fatherly figures to try to help them get through because it's sucks when your old man gets arrested it really sucks then there's one player max who actually finds his dad and sees him for the first time in three years it's a really emotional scene episode seven the penultimate last one we see the Steelers going to sacramento for that aforementioned championship you know playing really well they have much better synergy now on the field you know with their passing and all of that you know pretty much all of the basic football youth program that pretty much all of the basic football uh, tactics that you use and that you see in the youth programs so you know Aaron's father gets this really good opportunity to do something better other people reach out to others you know people the, it starts to sort of uh, close in on itself with a neat little bow as the season comes to an end the final episode is called the word of life which is honestly the most emotional one because we see the team playing its final game of the season over in Houston in Texas you know and Snoop uh, does an interview he reflects on how the season was and how the players have grown you know both on and off of the field the hardships they've endured it's actually very inspirational hearing Snoop talk about some that's not music related so you know he really is proud of himself of the impact that he had on these kids lives giving them you know advice and trying to lift them up when they're down it's not just about football man it's about giving them a lesson for life you know that they can make better opportunities for themselves it's very similar to the coach carter movie you know that it's the same message it still rings true completely different sport but the same ideology you know trying to give these kids better opportunities so they don't fall into gang related violence and eventually end up in jail or even worse dead right so before i continue and talk a little bit more about the series let's take a look at another clip from it it's the city of no pity mike south central los angeles mike 13 about to turn 14 you got to figure out who you are and what you are my dad when i was a kid he left me i cry sometimes but i understand how life goes life is uh it's not gonna treat you right they don't like being preached to 
One of the things that I most enjoy about this series in particular is that it is stylized as this coming of age drama despite being, you know, an actual docu-series, you know, so it's it's reality TV basically, you know, we actually are seeing real people going through real turmoil, but at the same time, it almost seems like it's a movie. Each episode is a different movie, man, you know, it feels like, a, you know, it's almost like it's, I don't know, a cinematic universe with each episode being a, an individual movie that connects because it's, it's essentially a, a coming of age story about the players who are young and restless and some of them are going through much harder trials in life than others you know it's really unfair to say that some of the kids are privileged that's not really how it works in this scenario but you can tell that some of them are going through much worse things than others and even so for all of them to put all of that aside and come together for the greater good which is to win football games and eventually the championship if they if they even did that's what I think is awesome the idea that Snoop whose real name is Calvin, you know, the idea that Calvin took, um, you know, took something that could have been so much worse, you know, which is kids, you know, after school going out on the streets and po possibly getting involved with drugs and gang violence and crimes and all of that, you know, and be and probably going to, you know, juvenile hall at an early age and then eventually jail. Like the idea that he would take that and see it and, you know, channel it into something else, which is this youth football program, I think is awesome, you know, and it shows that Snoop is really diversified. He's not doing it for the money or or the press or the exposure even though in many games you know a lot of the fans go to see him and they take photos with him and stuff they go and talk to him you see that happening in the series you know clearly he's motivated you know um He's motivated by the idea of these kids having a future, you know, and basically um, avoiding every, avoiding doing things that he did back in the day when he was part of the LA Crips, you know, all of that stuff. You know, I think it's really admirable. I think it really is admirable. And there are so many different layers and themes here. It's ridiculous, you know. There is a little bit of comedy here and there, you know, like when some uh, some of the the people are talking to it, like Snoop with his friends, you know. Sometimes they'll make jokes and stuff, you know. They, there there are a few lighthearted moments. This is is largely a family friendly series to watch you know like there are a few uh, a few curse words here and there and Snoop obviously being Snoop says the n-word a few times but it's nothing that like it's nothing that's going to you know minimize the effort that he's putting on with these kids in the field so I think it's really great you know the soundtrack you know some of the hip-hop and rap songs you know a little bit here and there we also see a lot of the area where Snoop and other friends grew up in you know I do believe it's in the southern LA area where there is a lot of poverty and a a lot of kids like when it comes to living in places like this you know ghettos and slums usually young black men have one of two opportunities you know or sometimes three either they fall into the gang life you know and try to make money hustling or stealing you know doing other crimes or they play sports you know they choose football or basketball or whatever the hell they can play you know if they don't do well in school for scholarships so this is snoop giving these kids more than that you know you can play football here but you can also do well in school get your grades up you know they basically the the more they succeed on the field the more they might succeed outside of the field in life in another area Areas that they want to do you know that's what I think is really cool the way that Snoop you know does the interviews here and there and splices them you know talking to the kids giving them pep talks and trying to lift their spirits and their morale and also talking to the camera during these interviews and explaining what exactly is going on behind the scenes you know how certain people will always associate him as being part of the LA Crips even though he's no longer a part of the gang you know it's like you get a fame and reputation in his town you know it's really crazy man and just like I don't know seeing Snoop be more down to earth kind of kind of like see him shed the Snoop Dogg persona and coming out as Calvin, you know, just the regular guy outside of music and all of that other stuff that we associate him with and just talking to the camera one-on-one -on -one like I'm doing right now, I think gives a whole nother intricate layer to the process of Snoop being a coach, you know. He, he pretty much inspired me to go out and do stuff, you know, on my own. Like, uh, so the kids probably felt even more so. I thought it was really nice, man. Very good. The football was awesome. The way that they cut and edit the, the games, you know, to show the, the, the important highlights, whether the team loses or wins. Wins, you know seeing some of the kids interacting with each other on the sidelines and even on the field you know some of them being mic'd up I think it was really cool you know it was awesome to see Snooch giving them a snooch Snoop giving them orientations both before during and after the game I think it's nice man he really did become a father figure to some of the younger kids you know they come to him with their problems he gives them advice and tries to help them get through it you know they talk he's more than a coach he really felt more like a guardian also to some of these kids so I thought it was really cool for that and a few other reasons now 
before I go into the final stretch, let's take a look at one more clip here from the show. Can you wait with your mom and them on vacation? K-Mac is a tough love coach. You can't do it, I can't use you. Get out. He can ruffle some feathers. There's certain things coaches don't say to kids. They don't know the love that's involved in it. They're my family. Every kid that ever played for me, they're my family. Y'all ever heard that story, David and Goliath? We are David today, y'all understand? Let's go. The concept behind this docu-series is just phenomenal. You know, you take a seasoned hip-hop artist, a rapper, you know, who grew up in Long Beach, California, but in his youth had a lot of trouble with the law. At one point, he did join the Rolling 20s Crips gang, you know, in the east side neighborhood of LA, uh, of uh, Long Beach, you know. It was like taking all of those experiences, things that he went through and things that could have happened, you know, and using that to create this, you know, positive, you know, character persona of a football coach. I think is awesome. I think it's great, man. You know, it's fantastic the way that, you know, Snoop tries to tackle it. However, because it's such a short series and each episode is only half an hour long, I feel like there was much more that could have been explored that wasn't, you know? And like, I don't know, if each episode was about 45 to 50 minutes long or even closer to an hour, I think that there would have been much more there that we could have seen, you know? I think that the character development, even though it's not a fictional series, but let's, let's use character development for lack of a better expression the character development of the kids wasn't as explored as it could have been you know i really think there was much more that could have been offered and i think that the viewers would have seen it i personally would have there are some episodes that seem to kind of deviate a little bit from what the original idea was which is to show the kids you know growing up and uh being raised right so sometimes i think it gets a little bit too personal we see too much of their personal lives and it starts to take the focus out of what we're supposed to be seeing don't get me wrong, I think it was very well done, but I think that there was a little bit more that was missing. You know, I think that, I don't know, if, e if each episode had at the very least just an additional 15 minutes or so, I think it would have been a lot better, you know, but it was still an amazing series and there's only one season so far. I don't think there will ever be another one at this point because was, it was like, what, five years ago at this point. So because of the short length, I'm going to be giving this series a final rating of 8 out of 10 because I did like it, you know, it's very unfair to make it 7 or less. I love the idea, you know, big fan of Snoop, big fan of football and I love docu-series especially sports ones so to me it's right up my alley but it can't be higher than eight because it's really far from being perfect but I found it very entertaining it was good for an entire afternoon's binge I watched it in one sitting it's been a while since I've seen it but I do remember that I watched it I think it was either on a Saturday or a Sunday over the weekend I saw the entire thing it was pretty easy and very very um very satisfying you know it felt really good to watch it so that's it guys let me know in the comments below if you have seen this series and if you want to if you haven't you gave yourself a bunch of spoilers by watching my review but it's a docu-series you know it's reality tv i don't think you can even give spoilers but still you should know that review in the title constitutes spoilers so i shouldn't have to say this but i do anyway because i just want to but i do the opposite i, I tell i say that there are spoilers at the end instead of the beginning eh. but anyway so let me know guys if you've seen it what you thought of about it and whatnot you know let's have a little debate in the comments and maybe also in the community tab where i'm also posting stuff you know every single day make sure you check my community tab every now and again because there's always something there for you guys you know I'll, I'll post some updates or i'll do some quizzes you know trivia polls a bunch of different stuff so that's it for now if you happen to like this video please go ahead and give it a like and also subscribe to my channel because i release videos every single day and while you're at it hit the notification bell too so you can know exactly what time i upload and it's all good this is Chazzy signing out for now, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Roll the outro screen, possibly the final clip and then the outro screen, or just the outro screen, I don't know. To live and die in LA. We never give up, never give up. I love you for being strong, man. I want to see you live, and I want to see you do the right thing. I just want to see more hard work, more dedication, more teamwork. Good job, Max. I knew you was going to come back, baby. More picking each other up. Let's go. To the